Hi, it's Scuba Kitty, and today we're going to be doing an interview with my friend from Scuba Nauts. Um, would you like to introduce yourself real quick? Of course. My name is Cordelia, and I'm a member of Scuba Nauts International. We're a youth diving organization dedicated to helping teens grow their resumes and have a career in the marine biology field. Um, I am 14 years old, and I have been diving for about three years now. Great. Um, a little bit of stuff before we get into uh, scuba knots. What inspired you to start scuba diving? Well, it's actually a funny story. I never thought about scuba diving until I encountered scuba knots. And then I realized all those little things years ago where I loved the aquarium, where I, I wanted to just spend my days on the ocean. I realized that was all part of my bigger dream, that I wanted to help the ocean so that future generations to come to enjoy it any way I can. That's great. Um, do either of your parents or maybe a different relative dive? Um, no, none of them dive, unfortunately. Um, it was actually quite sudden for me to tell them that I wanted to dive, and they were actually really surprised about it. But um, they're very uh, supportive. They help me in any way I can, which is saying something, since it's about an hour and a half drive to the nearest Skuba Nuts chapter for us. So, as you said before, you've been diving for about three years now. What kind of certifications have you amassed over those three years? Well, I've got my juniors open water from Patty and my advanced open waters from the same organization. Um, I got to do a nitrox certification and I have my regular uh, diver's first aid DAN certification as well. Great. Um, are there any particular certifications that you would like to earn? Um, I would like to start uh, going forward a little bit more and uh, amassing my certifications to become a master diver. Um, I'm probably also going to head into the rescue fields and other sort of um, first aid divisions of, the, of diving. Wonderful. Um, what, can you tell me a few of your favorite dives so far? Hmm. Well, I'd have to say that my favorite dives would be in the Keys. Um, Scuba Nuts has a summer trip every summer, and we head down to Moat Marine Laboratories in the Keys. And my first year ever, the water was this beautiful crystal blue, and that was probably one of my favorite dives. That's great. Um, how many dives have you done? Um, I've done about 52 dives now. Awesome. Uh, when did you join Scuba Knots? Um, I joined Scuba Knots in, well, when I was about 11. You have to be 12 to dive with them, but at 11 you can go to the dry meetings, which is exactly what it sounds like. Um, you get to see the agenda and everything. It's quite a, it's a little bit of a meeting sort of deal. You get a, a short science lesson, and I was able to attend those to see if I truly wanted to be a scuba nun. Um, after that, I decided I, that was what, what I was going to do for the next six years, um, and here I am. That's awesome. Um, why did you decide to join? Um, I decided to join Scuba Nauts mainly because it helped me achieve what I realized was my dream at the time. I wanted to. I wanted my life to be centered around the ocean. I wanted to help the creatures that live there. I wanted to help people understand their nature and how beautiful it all is. And I wanted other people to be able to see it, even after it's been such it's been through such damage that humans have caused over the last few centuries. Now, what kind of requirements do you need to have to join? Um, well, to join Scuba Knots, you do need to be uh, dive certified if you're going to be diving. Uh, you have to do that before you ever join because they can't certify you. Um, and oftentimes you have to uh, pay the annual dues before you ever join. And sometimes if you're 11, they'll let you join the dry meets, kind of like a free trial to make sure you really do want to join. 
But other than that, there's really no uh, prerequisites that you have to go through. Um, you said something about an annual due. Now, how much are we talking about? Um, well, it's a lot less for... Well, there's two options you can go through. You can be a full-time diver and scientist, or you can just go to the dry meetings and learn the science. Um, there's a decreased cost, of course, for the uh, uh, science option, but I'd say around 200 to $500 at the most. That's if you're going on all the summer trips that you can, all that sort of things. You're getting the, uh, um, what is it? Every now and then they'll offer a certification for like at a cost since many of the adult members are instructors. So if you're buying all of that sort of thing, I'd say at the most 500. Hmm. Um, so that's a lot of money we're talking about. Are there any sort of scholarships to help with the, the cost? Well, we're working on implementing a new kind of scholarship for uh, children or teenagers who want to join scuba knots but don't have the financial means to do so. It's essentially kind of like a college scholarship where we give them uh, all of the money they need to join scuba knots and uh, if we can, we'd like to do it for the summer trips as well. So they can join scuba knots, be a knot, get that experience and get that job experience that they're going to need to give them the valuable uh, lesson about science and the ocean and the life that they're going to need in the future. That, that's amazing. Um, what kind of opportunities are there for members of scuba knots? Well, there are quite a few opportunities depending on what you want to go into. Um, one of our members, uh, I'm not going to say who, but they were granted a college scholarship to one of the main colleges in Florida. Um, and it was essentially a half off scholarship so that they could only pay half of the tuition and they would pay the rest. Um, uh, so that was one of the largest grants type things for a, uh, a scuba knots member we've gotten for college. But we've also gotten Moat Marine Laboratories has internships and many scuba knots have gone through the internship programs of Moat Marine Laboratories and many other aquariums and other such marine labs all over Florida. That's awesome. Um, so there's actual um, things that can help you in the future and your day-to-day -day life. It's awesome. Um, what do you like about being a scuba knot? Um, probably the thing I like most about being a scuba knot would have to be the experience I gain from it. I learn public speaking skills, I get the ability to talk to important people, scientists, world leaders, even in the future I could be able to have a job at um, Tampa Aquarium is most likely where I want to go, so I would be able to say I've done this, I've gone to marine laboratories and done research for them, and uh, a lot of the time scuba knots dives are research centered, and all of the research we gain goes to uh, laboratories and scientific organizations that are bigger than scuba knots that can help the world in different ways than we can. That's awesome. Um, how do you see yourself using scuba and your experience in in the future well i most likely want to go into veterinary marine veterinary excuse me uh, marine veterinary um i'm probably going to focus on the um, mammals and larger marine am animals um but i can also uh diving also will help me gain scientific knowledge i'll be able to go out and research firsthand um, if I ever choose to become a regular marine biologist, um, I'll be able to take uh, my own research and put it forward um, into the scientific community without having to worry about secondhand information. And it would also help me with understanding um, marine life uh, in person. Um, a lot of the larger marine animals, uh, you can't help them, you can't uh, operate on them but you can help them, you can feed them type thing, or you can clean exposures, you can go and, um, there's a wide variety of things you can do with scuba, and I think the veterinary would be my best bet. 
especially since enclosures need to be cleaned, um, animals need to be fed, trained, cared for. So that would all help benefit me um, if I choose to go into that field. That's great. Um, what kind of dives do you do with scuba knots? Um, well, like I said, we do mainly scientific dives. However, we also do, um, we do like research dives for specific organizations rather than just general information. And we also do master knot projects, which are similar to master divers. When you become a master knot, you have to create a project, a scientific research project, all on your own, similar to how a professional scientist would do it. Um, and the other scuba knots will help you through diving and collecting information that way. So we do, we help, uh, we help our own knots in that way, and we also help scientific organizations. And one of the biggest projects we do is that we dive for moat marine laboratories in the Keys every summer, and we gain, we will propagate their coral trees and clean them. Um, we'll work with the combat wounded veterans for diving with them and doing the same thing. And we'll gather information in general for them to help them um, continue their research. That's, that's awesome. Um, so that's, that's all of our questions. Anything you'd like to add? Um, well, I will say that being a scuba on isn't just about the job experience or the scientific research that goes into it. Um, when I, before I started Scuba Knots, I was a terrible public speaker. My social skills were at an all-time low, but after I joined Scuba Knots, I gained a new sense of confidence. I, could, I felt I could go into a job interview and ace every question sort of thing. Um, it was very empowering, and I'm still f feeling very confident from that, and I'm learning new things every day. So it's a very um, inspiring experience, to be sure. That's, that's awesome. Um, so, I guess that wraps up the interview. Um, again, this is Cordelia. Um, she's a scuba knot. Um, and she's a very um, good person. Um, a great diver. Um, and I would really um, like to do more videos with her, so if that's the kind of stuff that you guys would like to see, please leave a comment down below. And if you'd like to see more of my content, um, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, um, please leave a like down below. Bye! <laughs>